Okay, everyone, so I wanted to do a video showing you how I do my cash envelope systems. Um, mine's a little different. I'm sure everyone has like their own little system. So I have my Savvy Sense wallet, which I just got a few weeks ago. I love it, I love it, I love it. There's a, actually just did a review about it. Um, we use a cash like metal box like this and also <laughs> our uh, Jack Daniels uh, whiskey jar, which has all of our change in it. I actually just um, cashed that in yesterday. So um, it was about $75 that we got out of that. And so what I'll usually do is I'll have like my ca my change that comes out of my wallet and I'll take that out and I'll put it in here. But we've had this bottle since like the very, very, very beginning of when we first got married. I don't know if it was like a housewarming gift or if it's something my husband just went and bought. And so it's a huge bottle and I've just always used it for a um, change container because I just think it works really well. And when this gets about, it probably was about up to, I would say here yesterday and so that was about $75 so I bet all the way up to the top it'd be at least over a hundred. My my Savvy Sense wallet that I use, I love this wallet. It has five categories for cash but I don't carry all of my cash in this envelope or I'm sorry in this wallet. Um, I just wouldn't feel very comfortable doing that. I feel like I feel like that's just way too risky to carry that much cash on you like all at once and so what I usually do is I'll put our money in this uh, cash box this is where we keep a majority of our money. Actually, I'm sorry, all of the money. And um, so if I need to go to the grocery store, I'll come to this box and I'll take out, say, 200 bucks, and then I'll put it in the little envelope um, that's, you know, labeled for, you know, going to the grocery store. And um, so if you open this up, I actually found this on Amazon probably about a year ago. It was only $25. It really wasn't that, that much. I really, really um, liked it. And so when you open it up like this, it has these five different um, slots for the cash. And so what we usually have it as is like, this is the food um, category. This is my money. It's no spend January, so I don't get any. My husband's uh, little slot, he's already has his money on him. This is kind of miscellaneous. Like if there's any extra cash for the month, we'll just, like if we didn't spend all of our grocery money, which we always do, but say if there was a month that we were, so I had 40 bucks left, I would just put it in this. And this was kind of like roll over to the next month. But it's really great because it also has like the little, um, areas for change which again we keep our change in the big one but you know if we come across like some you know dollars or um anytime we go on vacation we always get these little coins like anytime we go on vacation so this is like the fort worth zoo and this is like the houston zoo and so stuff like that so i always love these anytime i see these i always jump all over them because I, I love getting these and so this whole thing lifts up and comes out and this is where we keep our traditional like white envelopes i actually just started this this is a new thing for me and um just because i'm, I'm starting to i want to start being more detailed with our budget and i actually went to the bank today and got some cash and so i'm going to kind of show you what i uh, what we're deciding to do with the money this month um we already took out money for like our groceries and like my husband's money and things like that but this is the first time that we're starting to do more of the detailed one so the first envelope is car. Um, this is because our vehicles are starting to get up in mileage and we've never had vehicles that are this old and this many miles on them, um, which sounds ridiculous because our cars are not that old or in bad condition. It's just that we're always used to brand new 20,000 miles or less vehicles. And so we decided to go ahead and get a car fund going um, just, you know, for basics as far as like maintenance on, you know, changing the oil and brakes and stuff like that. But in case there is like a major thing that needs to be like if my, my husband's car, for example, needs a new engine, hopefully we can, you know, start putting enough money in this category, in this envelope to be able to cover some expenses. I'm sure not a brand new engine, but you get the point. So we've decided to put $100 um, a month towards that uh, envelope. So I'm just going to put that right there. And then the next envelope is clothing. So $100 towards clothing. And then um, Christmas 2015, uh, we wanna start a Christmas fund. And so we're gonna put, we said 50, but I only have 20, so I'm just gonna put 60 in there for now, because I'm sure it will be needed in December. So 60 bucks, so that's Christmas. And then the vacation fund, um, I already have money in here. This is actually where uh, yesterday when I went to go take the change to the coin star, I got $75 back and I, and I was able to uh, put it towards the vacation fund. We kept going back and forth whether or not it should be the Christmas fund or vacation, but we decided on vacation. So that's fun. And so, yeah, so then I just keep that under there and I put this back up on here. 
And so I have 20 bucks left. Um, I guess I got too much money. I just pulsed a certain amount. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the miscellaneous category, which is fine because it mean, it just means that we, um, you know, again, next month when we do our cash budget, we'll say, okay, we need X amount, but there's, you know, a hundred dollars in this little category. So we can, we don't have to pull out that much money. And so that's basically how we do our system. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I think, I think every month we change it a little bit and we try to make it better, but um, I love my wallet. I love this box. Again, I got this off Amazon for uh, 25 bucks and um, it's been great. I mean, it's very sturdy. It has a key to it. Um, it's not very heavy and it's just something I feel much more confident keeping our money in something like this that um, is just strong. It has a good structure to it and I'm not carrying it around in my purse that if I lose my purse, I lose all my money. I'm not comfortable with that at all. And so, um, yeah, that's my setup. I hope you liked it. I'll post a link below for the Savvy Sense wallet. And if I can find this box again on Amazon, I'll post that as well. So thanks for watching.